Do you want to get faster on the guitar as fast as possible? Do you ever wonder why whenever you get up to a certain speed, no matter how long you practice, you get tense and you just can't play any faster? Here's one of my amazing secret techniques to help you out with this very common problem. And it's pretty easy too. You just need to figure out how to allow your body to do what it already knows how to do. When you need to move fast, your body doesn't rely on the same mechanics of motion that it uses to perform slower tasks. For instance, can you run faster using just your toes or using both of your entire legs? I wanna try this fun little experiment with you right now. You don't even need your guitar to do this. Pretend you don't know anything about playing guitar or any particular guitar techniques. I just want you to go as fast as humanly possible like a nut job. You don't have to be accurate at all. Just go crazy with it. Just even without the guitar, just try. how how would you do it? How do you go as fast? Now, stop. I want you to notice this. We're going to do this again. You need to notice what is your body doing? Is it doing this as fast? That doesn't seem to make sense for most people, of course. Um, maybe the wrist, maybe the arm. For me, it's usually the arm that starts going. That's my natural tendency to move fast. But then you might be saying, well, we're going all over the place, Alan. That's not good guitar playing. Well, of course not. Now, here's my secret trick using what you just learned about yourself. Take the exact same motion that you just made to try to play as fast as you could, but do it in slow motion. Now that you're in slow motion mode and you're getting used to it, the next step I want you to take is to refine that motion. You wanna make sure it's precise, controlled, and accurate. We're gonna still do it in slow motion, but we just wanna make sure it's not all over the place. Here's the wide. This sucks. You don't want to be wide, but this is just to get your motion. And then you refine it, bring it in. Now you're practicing speed technique and you're doing it the right way. Now you're going to want to practice this fast speed technique in slow motion refined and super duper accurate and controlled to a metronome. But I don't want you to speed up the metronome until you know with 100% confidence that you're not making any mistakes at all. And it feels good, it feels comfortable, nice and easy. Then you speed it up a little bit. Some people jump by five beats per minute. Sometimes I have people only go up by one. It depends on whatever's comfortable for you, but never jump ahead because that actually makes it harder and you won't learn as fast. I bet when you get to that barrier tempo that you found yourself at before, you're going to breeze right on past it. Keep in mind, by moving less, you're moving faster. In the next video, I'm going to show you another amazing secret trick that I came up with that's going to help you refine your speed, your control, and your accuracy to a machine-like level. Hey, there are hours of tips like these in my lesson series on jamplay.com. I even give personal help in live group lessons on video three times a week, six hours every week. You could learn so much faster with my years of real experience there to help you out. You could have fun showing this stuff off to your friends. You might get a girlfriend or boyfriend or two. Most importantly, you could play without any physical limitation anymore. And you'll be able to really let your musicality and your creativity shine the way you've always imagined inside. Click this link and you can check out more of my stuff on Jamplay. Have fun, guys. And don't forget to watch out for the next amazing tip video. I'm going to be sharing some of my secrets here on YouTube. So you better subscribe and keep a lookout. See you soon.